Hi there, my name is Keith Sinte, and I want to congratulate you on your big win here with the 11 Second Club. I think that your animation looks terrific. Uh, I am a senior character animator currently working at Industrial Light and Magic. I'm working on Avengers 2, and uh, I'm happy to be doing your critique today. So let's have a look at what you did, and uh, then we'll go over a couple of things you might have improved on. I don't need to settle down. Tell him. I'll tell him. Carrie, you're not yourself. Of course I am. Yeah, it has a great energy to it. You have some real nice, spontaneous things happening here, especially in her in her overall movements. I like the acting choices you made. I think are, are really terrific. This wipe across the across the screen with a little uh, effect of having the stuff on the lens is kind of cool. I didn't get the connection right away that it was his glasses. The reason being is because your eye lines. Um, are a little bit tricky. If she would have been looking at him when she did that, then we would know it's a, kind of his point of view through the glasses. Maybe you're saying that, these, that the stains are on the camera, but I see them on his glasses. So there's kind of a little bit of a, um, a disparage, disparage uh, what do I say, disparate, uh, well, it doesn't really go together um, is what I'm trying to say, and, and match across the cut. So speaking of eye line, his eye line was one thing I wanted to talk to you about. So she's looking up at him, and then she drops and sits, and then she goes and looks back up at him again. So if, when he takes down his glasses, his eye line, I would think, would be going out this way somewhere. But look where he's looking. He's looking up, out, out this way. I caught you all with the mouth. Or a stylus for that matter. But um, yeah, his, his eye line should be lower. Because it gets a little bit confusing that he's looking up at her. I would figure that he would be looking somewhere in the neighborhood of, uh, you know, out or down this way at her. Out this way. And then continuity wise her eye line I think is a little bit off the screen right here I would have brought her eyes more towards us just a bit to screen right so that we keep that eye contact it's so important especially when you have two characters that your eye lines are are um, very dead on in where your characters are looking you want it to uh, you have to really really maintain that connection by the way, the bucket here with the funny face on is kind of cool. I like it in the fact that it's there, but it's not distracting. I don't look at it as a character, which is which is nice. I don't need to settle down. Tell him. I'll tell him. It's a nice little thing you do with the, the mouth, a little after effect thing you do here. Where she says, tell him, and then she quivers her mouth. Now, I don't know if it's this rig in particular, why it looks like she's, her teeth, and her lips, there's like no volume to the lips. So maybe that was a creative choice with this character. Like I can't really tell. It almost looks like she's got, like in these, a lot of these shots, it looks like she's got no teeth. She doesn't have any teeth. Almost like a bleeding gum syndrome. And it kind of, uh, he looks fine. I can see his teeth. But I don't know what happened with her. She just doesn't have any volume to her lips. And... I gotta say, it kind of distracted me a bit from the, from her lip sync. I don't need to settle down. So things like, I don't need to settle down. When she says need, I don't need, you're hitting the E, but need, I think you don't need to go so, so wide because she's hitting an N shape. So instead of need, need. I would I would have kept the uh, corners of the mouth in a little bit more. I don't because what you're what you're having is your. I don't need to sell. Yeah, need, need. You need to drop the jaw on that on that on that uh, syllable there. Need, and it'd be great if you saw the tongue at the top of the mouth and then drop down. Need. Settle down. Tell him. When she says tell him. 
helium. Uh, this is a great mild shape. It's M. It's nice and asymmetrical. But I think he actually could have pressed it up even a little bit further, the fleshy part. Maybe another bit, a little bit higher. Tell him. I'll oh, tell him. Carrie, you're not yourself. Of course I am. When she says coarse, you're not yourself. Of course I am. Um. Uh, of course. Uh, or, I think more of an ooh shape here in the C for the course I am. Course I am. You make that more of a, a little bit smaller mouth and more of a O oh, ooh shape. Course I am. You're not yourself. Of course I am. All right. The big thing that I really would like to see a polish on this, besides the eye line, would be the breasts. There's several breaths taken in here that aren't represented in the animation yet. I don't need to settle down. Let's watch this again here. I don't need to settle down. In the first one, she says, you can kind of hear it, she goes, I don't need... I don't need... And you're having her move through this area where she's breathing. Her mouth is open, which is good. But maybe bring the shoulders up so she's... I don't need... We see the actual body lift a little bit in ex in the exhale of this line. I mean, you have the mouth open, which is good, and she has she has some movement, but this doesn't feel like she's taking that breath and then releasing it. I don't need to settle down. Tell Again, you have this. You can hear that one. Settle down. Right there. But you represent. It looks pretty good. Settle down. Tell him. I'll oh, tell him. Yeah, and the last the last one is, is the big one. Carrie. You're not yourself. Of course I am. That one. At the very end. Of course I am. She goes. It would be great to see that inhale. Any of those little things that you can hear, uh, tiny little lip smacks and little things, if you can put those in your dialogue and definitely inhale. Of course I am. Um, let's see. Of course I am, and then she ends. Yeah. One thing I would recommend that you never ever do is freeze your character and have just dead frames at the end. And you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, six or seven frames at the end where absolutely she's just frozen. Um, in CG animation, when I was doing traditional animation, you could get away with things like held cells and things, something to do with the fact it was hand-drawn. Um, it just wasn't as obvious when you held the drawing. But with, with CG, we get this thing called pixel lock, and the camera ends up, or the, the character ends up. Looking like it's completely frozen if, if, if it's all the pixels stop moving because it's so precise. With drawings, I think you can have a more wiggle room because of the hand drawn and there was always imperfections in the drawing. But with these computer models, as soon as you freeze that thing, it goes dead. And it's really difficult to get in and out of poses. I mean, it can be done. Uh, tra uh, Hotel Transylvania did a lot of that. But transitioning from a frozen pro pose into a moving pose again is it's a very delicate thing when you're doing those transitions. But definitely at the end of a shot like this, and at the head of a shot, you don't want to have your characters just frozen at all. So I would continue to animate her off to the very end and definitely put in that that breath at the end. It would be a nice thing. So let's go back. You're not yourself. Of course I am. Yeah, of course I am. You know what would actually be good is at the end that she did this, of course I am. And you raise her eyebrows and she looks like she's trying to convince herself as well as him. So it would be like, of course I am. Really? Do you believe me? Do you believe me? You know, that kind of a, a face. Of, I think it would be you know, a better way to end that for sure. I don't need to settle down. It's a really nice overlap in the hair. Tell him. I'll tell him. I like the knee, the knee bob. You have a lot of nice little touches like that. You know, she's bouncing her knee and all that kind of stuff. I just want to make sure it's reflected throughout the whole body when she's 
doing that, you can hear her breath kind of having that shaky feeling. I don't need to settle down. Tell him. When she goes, is she doing an exhale? I need to settle down. Tell him. I'll tell him. Carrie. Let me go back. I'll tell him. Now, what can we put in there? Maybe squint her eyes during this section here. We should start to do our... Can we see the, the lower lids come up a little bit? And she starts to go into more of a squint. Even when she looks up at him, maybe the lower lids. Like she's questioning not only what you know his reaction is, but what she's actually doing as well. Terry, you're not just... Yeah, he's great. The only thing I, you know, like I said, you just got to change his eyeline so it makes sense when he's looking. You're not yourself. Of course I am. I don't need to settle down. Tell him. I'll oh, tell him. Carrie. Yeah. I think, uh, I think all the other stuff is looking really good. You don't have, uh, I mean, you have some nice weight to the, to the paintbrush. I think it slides here in her hand a little bit. Really subtle, but at the very last couple frames before the cut, the brush kind of moves in her hand. I don't know if that's what's causing that. Um, but that's minor. I, the thing that I would really work on for this would just obviously be the eye line, um, your establishment of the speckles that are on the lens. If they're indeed on his glasses, it needs to be a POV shot then, in which case you would change her eye line here to be looking right at camera. Then it would make more sense, boom, when you cut to him, and he would be looking down, you know, at her. Then we would get that connection of the speckles are actually on the glasses. And this one, again, screen right, eye line. Cool. And anything you can do to give her Either give her volume on her lips, pull her teeth, something in the shading. I don't know what it is. Her teeth don't even show up like teeth. It almost looks like she just doesn't have them when it's rolling. Settle down. Tell him. I'll oh, tell him. You know I mean? It's like all her teeth were knocked out. It's just weird. She can't figure it like this. This is like bloody gum. So, uh, investigate that, and I would try and see what you could do. I don't know if it's you can fix it in lighting, if it's something to do with the way that the lips will roll, or that, I'm not sure what model this is. Is this a, I don't know what, what ring this is, but anyway, that's, that's kind of a minor thing, but I will tell you it distracted me when I first saw it, that, that it looked like her teeth had been knocked out or something. So, something to think about. Like, his look, you know, his look fine, so I don't know what, what the change is. He's got volume to his lips, all that kind of stuff, so have a look at that. Anyway, um... I hope that's helpful for you. And again, congratulations. It's an amazing thing to win this. And uh, I think that you did a solid job here with this animation. Just some, you know, a couple minor things. Uh, nice effects you put in there. Um, yeah, continue on. And uh, good luck to you in the future. Take care.